welcome to Hanging Out with Mr. Chips. What do you do for a living now, John? I'm a chemist. You're a chemist. Yes, chemist. You're a pharmacist. Pharmacist, is it? Talk a pharmacist. A pharmacist. Yes. Have you invented any? Yes, pr- pronounce it the, the way it's pronounced. It cures you. Uh, no, nothing yet. Well, working you know, on it. You're working on it. That's, that's like... He's wearing the memory of a moustache. Like, it could be just a shadow of his nose. But it's like there was a moustache there. And it's recently gone. But the ghost is haunting him. Do you know, John, I had an uncle of mine. He invented a cure for which there was no disease. What do you think? He invented a cure for which there was no disease. The audience has reacted in the correct way there. Do you know, John, I had an uncle of mine. He invented a cure for which there was no disease. What do you think of that? <laughs> Let's meet your opponent, Lisa. That's the right attitude, Roy. Move on. Move on from that joke. What sort of hobbies do you have, Lisa? Well, I've enrolled on a cake decoration course this year yeah. and I enjoy aerobics and swimming. Yes, you like cakes and keep fit. Yes, I do. So you're up all night eating and up all day trying to take the pounds <laughs> off. <laughs> Something like that, yes. <laughs> Great to have both of you on the show. These it's are some of the prizes our players creepy, come in on tonight's show. It's on catchphrase. It's always, what the hell is that clock? It's always 15 o'clock at Disney World. What time is it, Mickey? It's 15. The hell? We won tonight on Catchphrase. Best of luck. Here's a 50 pounder. Uh, spitting image, spitting image. Wow, the animation budget on that. Lisa. Spitting image. Spitting image is oh, right. Yeah. Well done. That catchphrase is funnier than the current iteration of that Spitting was an Image. That catchphrase, wasn't it? Spitting Image, very, very topical. Lisa, £50 to you. Top- There's a bonus catchphrase for which... Why you're... is it topical, Ro- What? What do you mean, topical? That was an excellent catchphrase, wasn't it? Spitting Image, very, very topical. Are you just commenting that the show Spitting Image is topical comedy? Or was there, was there something in 1989... We're spitting image. I'm going to research this. Is it, oh, spitting image was in series ten at this point. So not really that topical, Roy. Not really that topical. Uh, it's a sticky end. A sticky end. Lisa. Sticky end. Sticky end. <laughs> it's right. Sticky end is right. Okay, good. The audience weren't sure whether or not to applaud. Like if that was the right answer or not. Like, okay. not right. Lisa, I'm, I'm going to be in the audience Here's here. another catchphrase. I'm going to be in the audience. I think it's sticky end. Lisa. Sticky end. I knew it was sticky end. <laughs> it's right. Sticky end. Oh, good. It's right. It's right. It's right. It's right. Five. Okay. Cool. Cool. Fine. Woo. For a second, I thought that wasn't Just the phrase. You come in that. You've got a hundred pounds, Lisa. I think you may have 50. it. I think What's you've got it with Five Star Hotel. That is a belter of a guess. A belter of a guess. Star House. Star House. Or is Star a good House. Guess. Or it's it's not right. Back and play. Here's another it catchphrase. Could be Star House. Uh, Professor Chris Pitty. Lone oh, Ranger. Lisa. Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger. You know how I got that. You know how I got Lone Ranger. Uh, because there's a big sign that says loans. And uh, uh, the word ranger is also there. So what could it be? Is it ranger loan? Is it, it's words on a screen. Thank you, Hev. That is the phrase that, weirdly, that's the catchphrase we use. Text on a screen. That's what it is. It's text on a screen. Say what you see, except the word mister. Oh, good Lord. This is a belter of an episode. Ranger! How is that? Hang on. How is that even the catchphrase, right? Right? Okay. Okay. Right? So, the catchphrase here is Lone Ranger, right? And the way they've depicted this is they've got a bald guy with a moustache called Mr. Ranger, right? And he gives out loans. I wouldn't say he was a Lone Ranger. I wouldn't say that. Like, Mr. Bun the Baker from Happy Families, I wouldn't call Bun Baker. Although he is a Bun Baker. Where, where am I going with this? Oh, no, 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 because his surname's Baker. Baker Bun. I wouldn't call him Baker Bun. I mean, if I didn't know a doctor's name, right, I wouldn't call them Doctor Who. Oh. 
but he's Ranger the loner. Yes, he's loner. Loan. If anything, he's a loan arranger. He arranges the loans, right? Put that on your screen and then have like the letters AR with a big cross, make it into a dingbat. It's a fucking dim dingbat making these fucking catchphrases. Oh, why is this lone ranger? You don't call him. We'll carry on. We'll continue. We'll continue with the nonsense. Lisa. Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger. I'm baffled. I'm baffled by that. There's the bonus catchphrase, Lisa. Roy's baffled by that. Anyway, five star That's hotel. The top on the right. Five seconds. Here we go. Or four star hotel. Hi, Lisa. 150 pounds for 50 more in the good league. What's the bonus? Or five. Jumble house. Jumble, Jumble house. house it's is not right. Could John, be Jumble house. Play. Here's another catchphrase. No, 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 no. If it was, uh, if it was Jumble House, right? What they do is they'd have, uh, they'd have Doctor House as played by Hugh Laurie, right? And he'd have a badge that said Jumble. Jumble House. Of course it is, because he's called House. He's got Jumble. It's a Jumble House. <laughs> The 19th hole. The 19th hole is right. How do you know about the 19th hole, Lisa? Do you play golf? A uh, woman? What's a... What's a... Who, 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 who. What the fuck, Roy? <laughs> How do you know about golf? Who told the woman? Who told the woman about golf? That's what they call the clubhouse in golf, the 19th hole. She knows. She, she, hang on. Hang on, right? Watch this. Here's a catchphrase. It's the 19th. Lisa's got it. There's a hole. The 19th hole. The 19th hole is right. Hole. She got the catchphrase. She, she understands. <gasps> there's a, there's a hole in the word 19th. It must be the 19th hole, that phrase. And then, and then, Roy Walker asks... How do you know about the 19th hole, Lisa? Because a golf, woman you? couldn't know about that's golf. That's what they call the clubhouse in golf, the 19th hole. Yeah, yeah, you know that? Lisa, Lisa, you know that? You know that catchphrase you just got? Because you knew the phrase, the 19th hole? Well, I'll explain what it is. What a fucking... Chip splaining bastard. It's called chip splaining. When Roy Walker mansplays something, it's called Mr. Chip splaining. There you are. As far as I'm aware. Five seconds. Here we go. Lisa, Five you've star got hotel. 200 pounds for 50 pounds and a 100 pound lead. What's the bonus? Four star hotel. There's five Four stars. Star on the fence. What the? Sitting on the fence. Sitting on the fence. What in the? Buff Mr. T Mr. Chips has been working out. Look at Buff Mr. Chips. What the heck? What in the Buff Mr. Chips is that? He's been drinking his Huel. Is Mr. Chips okay? Oh, he's got one leg over the other. I thought they were his abs. It's like, why is Mr. Low fat chips? That's what this phrase is. Well, oh, I was wrong there, Lisa. Tie break. Tie break. Although, yes, it is a tie. Not right. It John, is, you're back oh, in play. Is, Here's another catch. It's a break. collar and a tie. I thought that was an angry duck with the body of a man. Fever. Uh, feed a fever. What the fucking hell? What the fuck? I mean, what makes this worse is when this was on the screen, I misread that as Führer. Angry Führer. <laughs> Hook, line and sinker. Jailbait. What? Lisa. Jailbait. Jailbait's what? right. What? <laughs> what? Oh, I'd, I'd like to solve the puzzle. Is it a nonce? What the f... Jailbait? 
Jailbait. Right, again, I don't want to Google this. Jailbait only has one definition, right? Am I wrong in that? Jailbait. It, it, does it not only have one very bad definition? Um, yep, yeah, Hev, you are right in saying that you also don't want to Google it. I might put a... Uh, hang on. Let's open incognito window. Oh, I'm going to hear sirens. Jailbait definition. Uh, a young woman or young women collectively considered in sexual terms, but under the age of consent. That's literally the definition. I put on incognito mode to find that. Catchphrase, what are you doing? I'd like to solve the puzzle. It's, she told me she was 18, officer. The fuck? Although, again, Mr. Chip's being drawn in a very different art style. Stage struck. Stage struck is right. Look at that. That is... That is a gorgeous Mr. Chips design. He's got sneakers on. That's gorgeous. Considering how shitty all the other catchphrases look, that looks amazing. I never thought I would be admiring the artwork of a fucking catchphrase. Remember, there's no bells. Wood. Speak to hey, me. Bales. Bales. Garrett Bales. Anyone? Lisa. Yards of corn? Not a Yards good, of it's corn. a good guess, but it's not right. It's not we'll a good show guess. you some it's not more. A phrase. Hey. John. Corn cheese. Corn sheaves is a no, good guess. It's not right. Things, we'll show you some which, more. Which you know is the name of the game. Third. Lisa. Three bales of corn. Three bales of corn. Yeah, it's not right. We'll show no, you some more. Not right. It's not John. a phrase. Gathering in the sheaves. Gathering in the sheaves is no, not, not correct. We'll show you a little bit more. You can just see. Oh, here we go. Bringing in the sheaves. Lisa. Bringing in the sheaves. Bringing in there the sheaves. There was no need for a hyper-realistic, real-time drawing of the fucking sheaves in MS Paint. That did not need to be done. That was a waste of everybody's time. Everyone just started guessing. One of them even guessed, oh, is it sheaths being drawn in MS Paint in an explicitly long amount of time? That wasn't the answer, weirdly, because that's not a phrase. You're wasting everybody's time. You nearly got it, John, before the word bringing appeared there. Very yeah, well weird, done. That. Lisa, five weird that he didn't get the catchphrase got... before the catchphrase was completed. Here's a picture of a cat. Nobody getting it. Nobody getting the picture of a cat. Bzz. Is it cat? No, it's not cat. Bzz. Uh, is it is it feline? No, it's not feline. And then the word lives appears nine times. Is it a cat has nine lives? That's correct. Why didn't any of you get it earlier? I hate this show. We've got another another art style of Mr. Chips now. Right. How many artists have they got commissioned to draw Mr. Chips in radically different ways? I didn't even know his nose was that big. Lisa, it urban like cowboy. Flat, flat. Urban cowboy's not right. We'll show you some more. The chip cinematic universe, the John. multiverse. Lemon popsicle. Lemon popsicle's not right. Oh, we'll yeah. show you some more. Yeah, lemon popsicle. Ob obviously, that's lemon popsicle. <laughs> has this man, <clears throat> has John, to use his full name, never seen Mr. Chips before? How did he get on the show? Is that, I was wondering why that lemon popsicle kept appearing and nobody was guessing lemon popsicle. Right. I am well, now convinced that Mr. Chips in 1989 solely existed as an NFT. The idea being that you had to collect all versions of Mr. Chips, right? And in order to be the richest, it was an early example of crypto, cryptocurrency is what it was called. That is my only explanation to why there's so many radical redesigns of Mr. Chips. Look at that. 
Look at that Wilfred looking fucker. <laughs> Andrew has a counterpoint. It's not an art style. They started drawing him and realised his head wouldn't fit. It could be us starting over. Yeah, that that is a more... Jesus. Mr Chips, what's wrong with goatee. him? On the ropes. £150, John. Rope charmer. Rope charmer's not Stop like saying Lisa, charmer. Back and play. We'd know... We'd know if it was Rope Charmer because there would be a sign behind him saying Rope and a sign in front of him saying Mr. Charmer. That's how we'd know it was Rope Charmer. Yeah, that's, that's enough catchphrase for today. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. A, a lot of things happened. A lot of things happened. And a lot of it we will never talk of again. Thank you for watching. Fuck off.